All right. Well, I think we are ready for the moment that everybody, or at least I have, been waiting for, and that is to give it a test run. I'm going to start it up slowly because I think there's going to be some junk flying out of there. And I don't know what setting this is on because the control panel is missing. So it looks like we have two clicks that way. This knob is not the right size. Alright, so this is in the middle of the switch right there, so hopefully that's off. And then I'm going to, uh, I don't hear that clicking at all. Well, if that's spoiled, we can tell relatively quickly with a multimeter. So let's see what we can do here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. So nothing happened, so I think that's in the off position. I'm going to turn this all the way down. And I'm going to turn this one turn to the left. I don't know if cool is on the right or the left. Forget that crazy thing. Okay, so we'll see what this is. I'm just going to plug it in real quick and make sure it doesn't go crazy. I've got to get that cleaned out a little bit more because I can't have that going on in here. Um, I don't know what the best way to clean that out is other than just let it run for a second. It's going to make a mess though. Dang on it. I don't know what good this will do. Maybe I'll contain the hair in the mess. most of the junk that's in there. That's pretty powerful. That's got to be high. So let's go to low. Or what I'm assuming is low. There was really no difference there, but very minute difference. So hopefully... Alright, let's do this. Turn this all the way up. I didn't hear it click. Let's see what happens. There's no compressor. Um, let's try that. No compressor. Well, it's time to get the multimeter out and see if this uh, thermostat is indeed spoiled. And if it's spoiled, We'll have to hack it to run without the thermostat. Alright, I've got the control panel open. This is the thermostat here. And these are the two wires that it shorts. So this is the um, compressor power that goes into here. And then if it's hot enough and it satisfies and it's working correctly, it'll complete this circuit and then the power goes back into the compressor. So if this is closed, which it appears to be, then it should be starting up. So this is giving me connectivity regardless of where I turn the thermostat. So there's something wrong with the thermostat. Now, if it's failed open or if it's failed close, you know, it could have failed open. We're getting mixed, uh, mixed ohm readings here. This is giving me uh, 27 ohms. So there, there should be really no resistance through this. So it's possible that this is spoiled. Um, yeah, it's giving me about 27 ohms, and, um, you know, it should be next to zero resistance. So, now I'm getting 43, 26, 28, 54, so there's something very strange going on here. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just jumper this here because I think this thermostat very well may be spoiled. So I'm going to cut this off here and I'm just going to jumper these two wires together and that's just going to simulate the um, thermostat being satisfied. Now, if it still doesn't work after we do this, then we have to take a much deeper look into what's going on here. But if this is a simple thermostat failure, that would be fantastic. What in the world? All right, so now the switch is engaged. Essentially, the thermostat is satisfied at this point. So if we don't get compressor this time, then it's something a little bit more complicated. It could be a, a capacitor failure, a very number of different things. But let's just see what happens. Hopefully, it works. Temperature in the room is 69. Look at that going down. Fifty years and counting. In the trash, in the rain, hasn't skipped a beat. degrees coming out of the fan. This charge is 106.
This is a maybe fifteen dollar fix. Got a new thermostat. with the condenser blocked up, so if the condenser wasn't so disgusting, it'd be getting a lot colder than this. Fifty-four and we're at uh, sixty-six, so it's not it's not cooling quite as well as it you know would be ideal. But it's been sitting for a while and the condenser is dirty, so I'm not too worried about it. It's definitely blowing out cold. And it's blowing out strong, too. That thing sounds fantastic. That all day. summer while well, I was surprised that people enjoy their modern Chinese garbage unit that'll be thrown out next year. Well, I'll let this run for a while and we'll come back and see where we're at in terms of temperature and such. I've had it going for a little while and i got to cut it off because it's actually getting hot in here. The ambient temperature is now... 83. Uh, this condenser is thrown on an unbelievable amount of heat. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And I'll give it a proper test in a bigger area. But it works. And it works a good, too. This was getting pretty hot. It was almost up to 150 at one point that I measured it. There's a couple of things I want to point out about this unit before I close out the video. Two major things. Number one, it is rusted, but it's not that rusted. This is almost a 50 year old unit. And the reason being is because, oh look, the manufacturer put a drain hole in it, so the water doesn't just sit in there. Brilliance number one. Brilliance number two is this thing. A lot of modern units, this part here blows straight forwards. If you notice, this one blows up. Now the brilliance of that is that when it's blowing forwards, it just recirculates back into it and doesn't work good. This one actually blows the air away from the intake. So this is through and through a brilliantly designed machine. 
it works perfectly fine. It needs a, I don't know, probably even not even $15 part to get it going again. And uh, somebody threw it out because they don't know how to do basic troubleshooting on electrical appliances, which is a, a plague in today's society. Well, whatever. I'm not going to complain too much because now I've got a flawlessly working air conditioner that's probably going to last 50 more years. Um, there is some ants on it somewhere, so I'm going to figure out where that is. But other than that, this is ready to get restored. Um, this is great. This is a great find for zero dollars. And just, just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and start this compressor up one more time. I think that's a reciprocating compressor. 